Hi and welcome to this tutorial where we'll be producing a tic-tac-toe game which will then be will then produce drawings from. The first part is we'll produce all the parts including the top, bottom, um, the pins and the bolts as well. And then once we've done this we'll bring it all together in an assembly and then we'll create drawings for um, every part. <clears throat> Okay, so first off, we're going to start with producing the top, and we'll be uh, producing because the top and the bottom are the same dimensions. We'll be using something called configurations, which make our lives a little bit easier. Okay, so if we just see this is what the top looks like, and then as I say, in configurations, as opposed to before, where we actually go through the whole process of creating stuff, um, I'm just going to get rid of that toolbars on the screen surfaces so we can see this a bit better um, yeah there we go okay as you can see usually we go through each um, produce each part separately but we can use something called configurations if something's a similar dimension so go to configuration mode and then we'll click on we've got default top and then we've got the bottom as well so because the outer square is the same all the all that's different is the inner so there we go okay so let's start so we'll go file new and part okay right first of all we want to go to the top plane and insert a sketch so right click sketch and we're very it's very important that we're using the origins as our center um, so therefore we need to use the center rectangle which will allow us to create a rectangle that will be from the center so like so okay so once we've created that uh, rectangle now we can add the dimensions so we go to smart dimensions and this is 60 by 60 and now we're ready to extrude this we'll exit out the sketch and extrude that through 10 millimeters like so it's already should usually default setting should be 10 millimeters so we can green tick that now okay so right we've got that now we're ready to put another uh, square on which will be our, our guide square to when we use the uh, linear pattern later on for creating the holes where the, where our pins will go for the counters will go so if we create a new sketch on the top plane of this so right click sketch and press spacebar, click normal to. And now, if we go and select the center rectangle again and click, now press escape. And now we've got to dimension this. So, the dimensions of this is 46 by 46, like so. Okay. And now that sketch will be used, as I say, as referencing for the linear uh, option later. So we'll exit out of that. Now that we've got that, we're ready to put on our holes, uh, one of our holes, which will then be uh, replicated using the linear pattern. So again, we'll create a sketch in the top plane, sketch, and go to circle tool. Using the circle tool, we'll just place a circle anywhere. And add a dimension to the circle of eight millimeters so like so eight millimeters and now we want to dimension that so this circle center of circle is first off 15 millimeters from that line there and 15 millimeters from that line there and we'll green tick that okay so now that's ready to we're ready to use the cut feature so we'll exit out of the sketch and use the cut feature to move all the way through like so. So select the through all on down from blind. Select through all. Okay. And green tick that. Okay. Now we're ready to use the linear pattern to create the uh, pattern across where the counters will go. So if we select linear pattern. Okay, in the first direction, I want to select one of these lines that we use, the reference lines, like so. And then you can see three have appeared. So, start off with you have one, we want to select one, two, three, and they should be a distance of 15 millimeters apart. Okay, like so. And now, in direction two, I want you to select the bottom line there. 
okay and as you can see they're going in the wrong direction so we need to reverse that direction simply by clicking on this button here and also there needs to be again dimension of 15 millimeters like so okay now that's green tickable we're ready and now that's left our pattern um, the only thing that's left to do on the top is to add the holes for where the uh, bolts will be fitted. Um, and there's a tool called Hole Wizard within SolidWorks which allows us to fit in standard types of bolts and so on. So if we click on Hole Wizard and now we can select the hole type which is going to be a counter bore. Um, the standard type, which is ISO, so select down from there, ISO European, which is European standard. And then we'll select the hex socket head, ISO 4762. Okay, and the size will be M5 normal. Right, now we can position, because we can use this more than once. We can go across to position, go down to 3D sketch. And now we can select the points that we want to position these holes, so here here, here, and here. And we can green tick that. Okay. And then that completes the top of our uh, tic-tac-toe board. So I'll go file, now save, and we'll create a new uh, document, calling it tic-tac-toe. Double click on that and save it as top and save. Okay, so that's done. Right, now we're ready to build the bottom half of the uh, tic-tac-toe, as we can go in and just see. Um, as you can see, on the bottom half is very similar, apart from the point it doesn't have the areas to hold the counters. So we can basically use um, something called configurations within SolidWorks to uh, to do this so right okay so if we get our uh, top part open and we go to configurations which is up here right first of all I want you to right click on here go to properties and we need to change this configuration this is going to be our top configuration and we'll green tick that okay so that's top now we're going to add a configuration so go down here and we'll click on the top part, add configuration, and we'll call this bottom. And we'll green tick that. So now we've got top and we've got bottom. So now if we have in bottom selected, we go across here. All we want to do is use a feature called suppress. Okay, so we're going to select this, this, and this. So we can hold down the control T. We can hold, click on one, two, three. Right click, and we'll press go down and I'll go up and go to this button and click on suppress and what this will do is take this away okay so now we're ready to add our features that will be used to the bottom if I just uh, do the example now like if I go across and open up my top you'll see okay we've still got all our bottom and then I'll click on bottom and you can see we've got nothing so that's great now we're ready as I say to add the, uh, the, the features onto here so we'll go up to hole wizard we'll click on there again now we're going to be using a uh, straight tap for this and right so we want ISO again I'm going to select tap toll M5 and we'll select down here cosmetic thread and this will add a thread to this part okay so that's all okay we can First then go across to positions, again in the same way as before, we will position using the 3D sketch tool on this edge, so there, 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 and there, like so, we'll green tick that, okay, and that has added our tapped holes. Now um, if we go up to annotations, we'll be, and go to details, and we can if we green tick on shaded cosmetic thread and click OK, we'll then see, be able to see our cosmetic threads on, on our part. 
and that is that if we just click on save now everything saves within the document if I go across into configurations we can skip between the two so we've got our bottom and we've got our top okay lovely so now we're ready and that concludes the bottom and top part of the tutorial Right, we're now ready to create our counters with the X and the O's, and we'll be using again configurations in here just to swap over the X and O's. So nice and simple, and a pretty quick operation. So again, we go file new part OK, and we'll go into the top plane. Right click sketch OK, and go up to circle tool. And we want to give this a uh, diameter of 8mm, go up to Smart Dimensions, click on there, 8mm, and we'll click green tick that, go to Features, Extrude, and we want that to be extruded 20mm, okay, and that's okay for now, green tick. Now, we need to add a uh, chamfered edge quickly so go down to select our chamfer option uh, the d distance we want to be 1 and we want an angled degree of 45 making sure that full preview is selected so we can see what it looks like there at the top and then select at the bottom and now we'll green tick that okay so now our counter is ready we'll just save that file save as and if we go into tic-tac-toe, we'll just make sure we're in the right folder. Save as counter. Okay. Nice. So, now we're ready to add our X and our O's. Again, we'll be using the configuration because the part's generally the same. It's only one thing that's different. We can change it. So, I'm going to go insert a sketch. So, right-click on that face. Sketch. Now, we're going to go and use a tool called the text tool so select the text tool let's click on my uh, spacebar actually first off let's click on spacebar and get this counter normal to then I'll click on my text tool now in here first off we want an X so here it appears and we can Change the font by, we want to untick this at the bottom here, use document font. Untick that. And we'll choose a font of 5 to start off with. OK. Now, Right, so we're going to create a sketch first on this top layer here, where we're going to Right, we're going to create a sketch on the top face here, so we'll go sketch and then we're going to input something called this text tool, okay? So we we'll click on text tool. I'm going to put an X to start off with, which